We all have our terrors. She has not yet learned that screaming doesn't bring help. This girl obviously hasn't learned the efficiency of silence or being invisible. We all have our terrors. Luckily for her, the spiders in her veins are imaginary. I have learned that the true terrors of this world are other people. I understand how you feel. Once you are born, I will no longer be your mother. You will be taken away from me. Oh, that's one less person I'm gonna have to dress. Hello, dear. I hope you slept well. You'll have to hurry. All the food will be gone. Food is a constant struggle. We only get what the kitchen can afford that day. A few inmates here don't even get to the table in time to see food, but they end up eating crumbs anyway. Eat up. Got some fresh bruises on that one. That must be the girl who screams out spiders. Have a care, girl. Show me that you will take some sort of interest in something around you. No matter how bleak it is, you can keep your words inside of you. But I see your eyes looking far off and your arms crossed over your stomach. They will take it away from you as soon as they can. When that happens, you'll be sent home and I'm pretty sure I'll never see you again. You're not the first woman I've seen of your kind, heavy around the waist. However, that child was put on you and your family. Your family will want you back as soon as it's gone. You know, storing all of this on the inside will not help you outside these walls. Find something outside to bring you back to the world, or you may be stuck here forever. Well, that's your decision. As kind as Mrs. Clay had been, the words didn't sink in. I knew that as soon as the baby is born, it would be taken, and I would be back. Back to my room, my bed, my terrors. I had already decided my future, and it wasn't out there. <laughs>